Hello everybody, this is Jacob Nolly with the Graphite Lab, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a custom report inside of Service Titan's reporting tool. So the first thing that you're going to do is you are going to come over here to the Reports tab at the top. Then after that, once that loads, you're going to go over here to create a report, and this is going to allow you to create a custom report inside of Service Titan. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to select a report type. In this video, what we're going to do is we are going to make a report that shows all jobs that were created in the last month. So we're going to go click a jobs report, going to come down to jobs, and we're going to say um, we'll keep some of these defaults here, but these are all of the different available columns inside of the report. So let's say I'm going to want the job number, the job type, um, the job campaign. Let's go ahead and keep that campaign category, business unit invoice number. Um, we'll go ahead and do a status as well. And then we're also going to come over here. We're also going to search for a created on. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do this created date. And that's just because we want that report to be all, all jobs created in the last month. Then we're going to go ahead and click next. And we're going to do, give it a name. So jobs created in last month. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to do this as an operations report. And this is a report that shows all jobs created in the last month. So we're going to go ahead and click save. Now this is going to create the, the job created report, but it is going to be missing one key thing, um, two key things actually. And so what are we filtering on and how, what is the window in which we're going to be filtering? So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to change this. We're going to make sure that the filter by is the job creation date instead of the job created completed date. And we're going to go ahead and change this to the last month. We're going to save our changes and we're going to run the report. Now, when I go ahead and open this report again, it's going to default to the last month and it's going to default to filter by to job creation. Then you can go ahead and schedule this report, pull it however you want to. Um, but this is basically how you create a custom report inside of Service Titan.